Today I'm going to teach you step by step how to create an Instagram puzzle in Canva like the one that we see right here and today the video is very special because I'm going to teach you everything you need to know. I'm going to show you how to create a custom size document in Canva, how to use templates so you can speed up the design process, how to cut the design into nine equal size pieces, how to organize your files so you upload your puzzle correctly to Instagram and I'm also going to add a couple of extra tips like for example how to continue your puzzle design after you have published the nine pieces and also how to use one of those pieces to create an Instagram carousel. This video is going to be very very juicy, it's going to be full of great tips and every single step is very important so please please watch the video until the end and if you guys are ready for this tutorial let's go to my computer. The first step it will be to know the exact size of our Instagram puzzle. So we are going to create a 3x3 three three grid. So the size for each Instagram post is 1080 by 1080. So that's a perfect square. If we are going to create a grid that is three times this size, so we'll have to multiply it by three. So this is going to be the size that we're going to use to create our puzzle. Our puzzle will be 3240 by 3240. So let's go to Canva and select custom size 3240 and then 3240 and create a new design. Now that we are in the Canva editor, let's activate the rulers and then the guides. With this, I'm going to get closer to my design. So I'm using the zoom feature and I'm going to create a guide in here. If you see, there is a purple number on top. So I'm going to try to position this line on 1080, which is the post size on Instagram, right? That is a perfect square. Now I'm going to add a square to my design. Now I'm going to resize this square and I'm going to make sure that this is 1080 by 1080. Now that I have this square, I'm going to create my horizontal guide and I'm going to move this square to create the other guides that I will need to create this Instagram puzzle, then I can delete my square. Now we have these guides which are going to help us a lot while creating this puzzle because we can see clearly where every single piece is going to be located and where the design ends and where the other design begins. These are just guides, these are not going to be visible when we are going to download the design, so you can turn them off at any point while designing, but I do suggest that you keep them on while designing your puzzle. For those of you who are using a mobile phone, I'm gonna show you a trick to create guides, but these guides are going to be visible on your design, so you will have to delete them when you are done with your puzzle. So if you didn't know on the app, at the moment we don't have the option to create rulers and guides, so you will have to click on the plus icon that you see below, go to elements and go to the tables section select the first option. Now select one of the cells and tap on the three dots on the side and delete row. You should end up with a three by three table and then just increase the size of this table until it covers the whole page. I do recommend that you add some transparency to these lines and then lock this table. As I already mentioned, when you are going to download the puzzle, remember to unlock this table and then delete it because these lines will be visible when you are going to download your puzzle. Now I'm going to show you the process to use templates to speed up the design process. You can follow this process if you are thinking about using this puzzle for personal use, but if you are thinking about creating a design that you will end up selling as a Canva template, I do recommend that you start from scratch. So basically you will create your puzzle 
from a blank page. I do have a video that you may find useful if you're going to design your puzzle from scratch. I'm going to leave that video up here in which I give you five different post ideas. So you could use those five ideas and then create your own designs based on those ideas. Now let's go back to my computer. Now here we are in the Canva editor and we're going to open the templates section. I already have a couple of keywords that you may like to create your own Instagram puzzle. The first one is this one, sustainable fashion without any space. And then you have these different templates in here. All of these templates are free to use. I'm going to show you two more keywords that you may find useful. So the second keyword is self-care shapes without any space here you have the selection of templates and then finally i have another keyword for those of you who have a canva pro account these are pro templates so here you have three different options that you can use i'm actually gonna go for the sustainable fashion templates and now the trick to use these templates is to add a new page and then start bringing your templates to the second page. From here, you're going to select all the elements, Control C, and then bring them to your grid or your Instagram puzzle, Control V, and you're going to move all the elements together and resize them until they fit inside one of these squares, which are going to be one Instagram post. Okay, so I have my first post of the puzzle ready and I'm going to continue doing the same process until I have completed the nine sections. So I can go to page number two, select another design, copy all the elements and paste them here on my design. If you want to move your elements because you find that they are more balanced in a different location. You can do it like this. And now I'm going to continue doing this process until I have completed my puzzle and I will see you in a second. Once you have filled every single piece on your puzzle, you would like to delete some of the elements. As you see right now, I think the design looks very cluttered. So I'm gonna start by deleting some of the elements and making sure that I make the elements that remained on the design bigger so they touch more than one single piece on the puzzle so for example this blob right here is touching four different pieces of the puzzle and i can continue doing the same playing around with the elements deleting some of them that i think are redundant and also what i'm going to do is to play around with the colors and i guess i will see you again in a second Okay, by this point, you should have your puzzle ready. I already removed all the elements that I thought they were making my design crowded. And let's say that you already have as well your final text, your final copy, final colors. This is what we are going to see on Instagram. Okay, so the second page, we don't need it anymore. And I also wanted to mention that if you are designing this puzzle from a mobile phone, this template trick won't be so easy to replicate on mobile devices. So I do recommend that you follow the steps that I show on this tutorial. In that video, I show you the process that you should follow on mobile. Okay, so for the ones who are designing from a desktop, let's download this design so let's go to download select png and download if you have a canva pro account and you want to have the best resolution on your graphics you can increase the size with this slider and then download once you have downloaded your puzzle to your computer go to this website pinetools.com split dash 
image. This is a free platform and in here we're going to cut our puzzle into single images so we can post them on Instagram. So we can upload our design in here, choose file. Now on options select both vertically we're going to select three blocks and horizontally three blocks output same as input and then this slider we're going to move it to the right until we see a hundred over here then click split image okay i want to mention that i found an issue with this platform i was using safari and this button was stuck loading so i went to chrome I used the same platform, I uploaded the image and when I clicked split image, it worked in a second. So I do recommend that you use this platform on Chrome, then you will click on download zip file. I have my zip file on my computer, so now let's open it. Let's delete this one. And we have all our puzzle images in here. These are the images that we're going to post one by one on Instagram. And now I'm going to show you a trick that you can follow so you can organize these files and then you know which image to publish first, which one second and so on. So because we have here row one, column one, row one column two it can be confusing so go to elements add a square we're going to increase the size of this square position to front add some transparency this is just to guide us and then going to add a text box let's use a thick font in here and let's add some numbers on top of our images so one two three and then we're going to continue upwards we're going to select all the numbers if you want you can add a white color to the numbers and then some transparency so you can see clearly the image behind but you can also see the numbers now what i'm going to do is to rename these images so i know which image to post first on my instagram which second and so on so you should have the same numbers on your design here on canva i can see that this image has the number one so this is the one that i'm going to post first so let me find it here gonna change the name to one and then continue okay the 30% off it's here this is going second the one with the phone is my third image and I'm going to continue doing the same process okay I'm going to double check so one two three is the phone four five six yes seven eight and nine okay so this is a pretty simple and basic process but these steps are going to really help you when you are going to be uploading these images to instagram so really really recommend it also if you are creating your own instagram puzzle following this tutorial i would love that you guys tag me on your post or maybe you can just take a photo of your puzzle and post it on an instagram story you can tag me there so i can see your creations i really really love to see your creativity so please don't forget to tag me here's my instagram handle now I'm going to answer some hard questions that you may have on your head at this moment. The first one is how to continue this puzzle once you have posted the nine pieces and then if you want to create a carousel on one of these posts, how do we do it? So first let me show you how to continue the puzzle. You will open your Canva document and let's open this thumbnail view so we can see the pages. I'm going to duplicate this page 
and I'm going to work on page number two. We don't need these numbers anymore, so I'm going to delete them and then select the square that we had over all our puzzle. So now we can see our puzzle, right? Now I'm going to add a line. So by pressing L, you will have a line in here. I'm gonna go closer to see what I'm doing. And I'm going to increase the size of this line until it touches the edge of the page. Position the line right below your guide. You can even add a very bright color so you can see it in there. Now, let's make this view smaller. You're going to grab all the elements on your design and drag them below by holding shift. So you will see that the line that we just created, it is visible there. It looks blue, but we can see it. So try to position that blue line at the edge of the page. Going to go closer, even closer. And I think this looks good. Okay, yes, we can see a little bit of the line that I just created in here. Here is the line. This one should be on the edge. Now you're going to create six pieces of your puzzle. So you will add a new page and you can follow the same process that we just did. So for example, let me add this template in here and let's position it on this section and we can continue building our puzzle. I have already filled these six sections and what I do recommend is that when you are creating this new puzzle or the continuation of the puzzle is to leave the elements that were visible in here, do not move them, leave them in here. And if you are adding new elements, let them be on the page but above this guide in here because if you leave an element like this it will look weird on the puzzle because this section won't be visible on the section below so do not add them below that line just above and do not move these elements that were already present in there okay once you have finished those six designs you can follow the same process i'm gonna add a line okay i'm gonna position this line on the bottom guide and then I'm going to move all my elements until the line touches the edge of my page below. Okay, here we are. Gonna delete this line, we don't need it anymore. And then I can continue building my puzzle until I have finalized these three sections. And then I can download my new puzzle, which is connected to the previous one. The second hard question that you may have is, if I create this Instagram puzzle, can I create carousels on this puzzle? Yes, you can, and I'm going to show you how. So let's say that I want to create an Instagram carousel with this image, which is the first that I'm going to publish on my carousel. So I'm going to show you how. You're going to open an Instagram post document on Canva. Now you're going to upload the image that you want to use as a cover of your carousel. So in this case, it is this one right here. Now let's add this image to my empty Canva. And if you used one of my templates, so for example, for this project, we used this keyword. You're going to search for the same keyword. On these collections, you will see one carousel. So this one is a carousel. What you can do is to add a new page and start adding these templates from the second page. If you want, then add page, step two, step three, and then this is the final cover. This is a seamless carousel, so that is going to look very nice on Instagram. Then you are going to select the grid view and let's make sure that we have the same colors on all the pages and also that the elements 
that are on the first page somehow connect with the other elements that are visible on page number two. So on page two, we see this frame. I think I'm going to move the position of the frame because we don't see any frame on the first page. And then I guess this blob image, it fits right with the element that we see on page number one. I just need to change the colors. So let me come here to page number two. I'm gonna move this frame here. And then I need to make sure that this element has the same color as this one. I'm gonna select the element, click on color, select the plus icon and use this color picker. So we can have the exact same color as this element right here. Now we have this one. We're going to do the same process for the background. We're going to select the color from page number one. And if you want to do this process even faster, you can click on this button so you can change this color to this one on all the pages on the same design. So change all. And if I click on grid view, you will see that we have an uniform background color on all the different pages. Then keep customizing this carousel and publish all these images in the same post. This will be a multi-page post. This is a carousel. The first image should be the cover that we took from the puzzle. I would like to know how many of you stayed until this moment on the video. So if you are still watching, please drop me this emoji in the comments. And as you are already going to the comments section, I would like to know if you would like to learn something else related to Instagram. It could be another tutorial on Instagram carousels, maybe how to create Instagram reels or Instagram stories, anything about content creation in Canva, but really Related to Instagram, let me know in the comments. If you want to create an Instagram mockup with a 3D effect like the one you see in here, click on this video. And if you would like to discover new useful templates every week, click here to follow my Canva profile. Well, guys, this is it. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Have a good day and see you in the next one. Bye!